as part of the previous topic we have successfully created the virtual environment activated it and also installed pyspark as part of it now it is time for us to use that location with pycharm for further application development pycharm is nothing but ide ide stands for integrated development environment as part of the projects we typically use pycharm for application development using python as programming language even for spark based uh, uh, data engineering pipelines uh, if the programming language is python we end up using ides such as pycharm the other popular ides are nothing but visual studio code or spider irrespective of the id you use the steps are almost same now i am searching for pycharm here you can see let me click on this it will take care of opening the pycharm for me once it is opened as we are trying to open this folder that is already set up with the appropriate virtual environment instead of clicking on new project we have to use open once you click on open you should be able to go to the location and you should be able to select the folder and uh, save open it will take care of uh, opening that folder as the project in my case it is under projects internal then uh, itv gh activity you can see the virtual environment here now we should be able to click on open it will take care of opening the uh, folder as python project for us now you should focus on the bottom right corner you see the virtual environment here it has to choose the appropriate virtual environment if i hover my mouse on that it is actually showing the location the location is nothing but projects internal bootcamp itvst material blah 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 that is not the virtual environment which i want to use i want to use the virtual environment which i have just created to actually configure to the new virtual environment what you are supposed to do is you just have to click on this say add interpreter go to existing environment even if it is choosing new environment and then click on this the location is nothing but itvarsity projects in that projects we have a folder called as internal as part of internal i have a folder called as itvgh activity i have to choose that so i am actually going above to ensure that i am in the appropriate folder i should not be in the boot camp so i have to collapse this now i have to scroll down the parent folder for this is nothing but internal so within internal i have to go to itv gh activity in this this is the virtual environment folder which have the bin you can actually see the python executable here you should be able to choose this click on okay then say okay it will actually take care of uh, configuring that virtual environment for this project once it is done you can validate whether all the libraries that are installed using command line are available using pycharm or not by just going to pycharm preferences if you are using windows you can go to product settings under file this is the file if you expand that you should be able to see the product settings in windows then you can actually go to this uh, project and then python interpreter now you should be able to see the dependencies that are installed as part of the virtual environment here as pyspark is available here we should be able to leverage pycharm to develop data engineering applications using spark let's click on okay now it is time for us to develop a hello world program to ensure that pycharm can be leveraged for further application development to develop a hello world program you can actually right click then say new then say python file make sure that you right click on the project folder itvgh activity not the virtual environment never create any programs under virtual environment it is very very important now you can actually say new python file on the project folder then say app it will take care of creating the program file called as app.py under itv-gh activity app.py and itvg-venv have the same parent folder which is nothing but itvgh activity you can also validate by going to the command line then say ls-ltr from the parent folder or product base folder which is nothing but itv-gh activity you can see the app.py created here now you should be able to say print hello world here right click on this then say run app you can see the output here this is how you can actually get started with the pycharm on top of existing folder structure sometimes we might want to create a new project directly using pycharm we can leverage pycharm as well directly to take care of this but other way is to use existing folder structure to open using pycharm and take the development effort further i have covered the second part of it i have set up the virtual environment using command line activated it installed spark and then i have opened that folder using pycharm as a project uh, and i have validated this is also one of the commonly used pattern of getting started with respect to application development using uh, pycharm for python based uh, applications